And now, your first alert five weather. Well, hey everybody, so nationally, one of the big stories going on is the amount of rain that fell in the New York City area into some of New Jersey. This is water just streaming into the subway station, cascading off of the train cars. That would be nasty to walk through to get into the car there, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta get to work, we gotta get to somebody. So here's like what happened. This is the remnants of Tropical Storm Ida. Within the last couple days here, we had estimated totals of uh, three to eight inches. They're thinking there was a few pockets in there where we had close to nine to 10 inches of rain. And so with that falling in a pretty short amount of time, flooding was almost inevitable. It's just terrible what's going on out east. I mean, so, so much damage. It'll be billions of dollars in damage from that flooding. Back here closer to home. So we had a drought update today. And what that showed was a little bit more abnormally dry conditions that crept over towards Grand Lake, actually kind of went up and around Rocky Mountain National Park, and not a whole lot of change on the Black Mountain Fires acreage, but in its path is kind of newly added drought conditions. So hopefully it doesn't move any farther east because there is fuel in the way. I know with the weekend coming, some of you are probably wondering about smoke. Now the thing is, there is a lot of smoke out west that's going to try to come on in. The north northwest mountains will be smokier over the weekend if that's where you're going. For us locally here at home, just a little bit of haze around overnight, but the central mountains in southern Colorado probably are okay. I think some more of that light wildfire smoke would kick in a little thicker, probably at the end of the day Saturday, and then maybe, maybe even more so Sunday and Monday. Beautiful cumulus field building outside. It's a sure sign of some rain later on today, or at least storms trying to come on through. 81 in Pueblo with some rain trying to come maybe more so tonight. Probably not a whole lot happening until then. If you're going to the state fair, don't worry, Pueblo. It's a beautiful afternoon. Any rain chances we have are kind of limited from 6, 8, maybe 10 o'clock tonight, but I'm not overly concerned about it. Temperatures are great. It's a little bit warmer out east of Pueblo in the plains and a little cooler in the mountains. We've got 60s and 70s with the first blast of rain from yesterday moving on through. And clouds have built in. We're awaiting some rain later on. I just saw on the radar here, it looks like right over towards Cripple Creek in northern Fremont County, one or two storms trying to fire up, trying to get something over the Rampart Range. And the modeling kind of knew that, by the way. So really within the next few hours, we're going to be waiting for any sort of shower and thunderstorm to cross through Colorado Springs, kind of hug northern Fremont County as well. We could keep seeing rain and thunderstorms try to move through the region through 5 and 6 o'clock tonight. And then the hope is maybe we can stretch a boundary down to Canyon City and Pueblo tonight, maybe sometime after 8 o'clock. But the more current model runs really try to keep everything from northern Fremont County through Teller and El Paso County. Let's talk about the extended, everybody. We're going to be a little cooler the next couple of days. We'll keep some scattered storms out there. Now, tomorrow in the eastern plains, we might have some severe weather. So we might go with the weather alert Friday. Colorado Springs is severe change. Chances look fairly low, and then we get a little hotter into early next week. Pueblo could get some storms that are strong tomorrow, so we're going to keep an eye on them. But I do feel like those severe chances are a little better east of the town, off into the plains near that Kansas border. And then we're hot and dry for Labor Day Monday. Canyon City got some rain chances the next two days. Today's is kind of more so into the evening. Tomorrow we could get a scattered storm off the mountains. And then finally, Woodland Park. So going to see a chance of storms this afternoon. Got another chance tomorrow, Saturday, some isolated storms. And then a stunning Labor Day weekend. Eric, you're a big kayaker. This would be a good weekend to break that thing out at the Rampart Reservoir.